All right, what's up, metalheads? Peter Gilmore here for a Thursday afternoon video right here on Metal God 669. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video and hit that subscribe button down below. And subscribe to all my other channels, which are down there. Down there in the description box. And as always, find me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And share this video all over the internet. Don't forget to tap that bell. Turn on all my notifications so you ever, never, so you never, ever, oh baby, ever, ever miss an upload. And um, that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. Alright, and say hello to Zuzu. Who's, uh, well, I can't. Zuzu! Say, wanna say hello? Say hello? Hello! Sniff my bot. <laughs> so, it is what it is. I love my Zuzu. I love my Zuzu. I love my Zuzu. I look at that. Okay. I wouldn't act crazy anymore. But I love my cat. But it is what it is. I'm like JD though, but, you know, I don't fuck my cat. You know, but it is what it is. The only, I do, you know, I fuck my other cat. That's Rosa. So, yes. It is what it is. Anyway, on the Metal God channel, on this Cloudy, raw, yet yeah. Thursday, Thursday um afternoon, as it's uh yeah just almost one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm on break, so it is what it is. It might rain later today, but it is what it is. Anyway, on the Metal God Six Six Nine channel, well nobody died. Well, Norm McDonald died um yesterday, so my. Thoughts and prayers go, go out to comedian Norm McDonald, who was on SNL and did a few movies here and there. So, my I don't really have nothing nothing to say uh, to, about Norm McDonald. I think he died of cancer. So, that sucks. But the real reason that I came on video today, and um, and as the title below says, we have to wish Ozzy Osbourne some good luck. Because he's going into surgery, um, I think today or soon, um, to correct some problems with his neck and his spine. Now, we all remember that Ozzy, back in the 2000s during his, uh, you know, the Osborne's TV show, he was in England and he was riding his ATVs along with um, a couple of his friends and the camera crew. And then he... Uh, Fell off his um. Uh, he fell off the ATV. It went out of control, and he fell. And the ATV, I mean, he flipped over the ATV. And the ATV pff, cr crushed right on him. And uh, uh, we all thought Ozzy was dead, but thankfully the Ozman liveth, and he was in the hospital. And um, all he had was you know. We, as we saw later in the later season, um, he had a uh, neck brace on. So, so that was that. But over time, you know, Ozzy's always had a lot of problems as of late with, um, you know, he still has Parkinson's disease. I don't know what stage it's in now, but, you know, Ozzy's 72 years old right now. Like, two years younger than my dad, but, and my mom, um... Yeah, so he said, he said, you know, he still has Parkinson's disease. Um, he fell again in um, a couple of years ago, and they had to put metal rods in his head. I mean, his, his head, his neck and spine. So that's why he took some time off from, from touring and all that stuff. Then the pandemic hit, and he was supposed to do his No More Tours 2 uh, tour. And, um... You know, the pandemic hit, and he had to cancel a lot of dates because he's 72. You know, we don't want to get COVID for Ozzy. And, um, so that's, um, that's it. And, you um, know, well, before the even, before the pandemic even hit, in 2019, he fell again. And, um, some of them, some of the metal rods in his neck and spine, they kind of displaced. So, um, yeah, so he had to take some more time off with all that. But he's been busy. Ozzy's been busy, you know, ever since, uh, you know, um, Ordinary Man came out last year, which was a great record, you which you should buy. You know, Elton John's on the track, Slash is on the track, and, um, well, on, um, 
on a, on a track, and say a the track, but you know, Slash is on the album. He's uh, producing with Adam Watts, you know, another guitarist who did this album. And the next album he's that which is coming out, he's got 15 songs for the new record, which, which is coming out well, probably next year at this rate. Um, and um, he's going back to touring in January in in Europe. He's getting ready for the No More Tours to No More Tours to tour to to uh the startup in January and we found out that Zach Wild you know his good old buddy Zach Wild will be um his guitarist in the touring in his touring band for the farewell tour. You know it's not gonna be a farewell tour um for the final tour that Oz is gonna do when he's gonna be I think 73 years old in December. December I think the the well, it's, I think it's December the 3rd or December the 6th. I keep getting his dates wrong. But I know it's early December. That's when Ozzy was born. And he's going to be uh, 72, 73, I think. I think 73. But anyway, yeah, so Ozzy's going in for surgery to uh, kind of repair his neck and his spine. So I wish him all well. You know, Sharon, you know, Sharon Osborne went on Loudwire and, and then... Various magazines and saying that Ozzy's going for surgery and um, hopefully you know, the recovery time is quick because his tour starts in January of next year. So we'll see. We'll see what he does. And hopefully, you know, especially with, you know, with the surgery on the neck of the spine, I don't think it'd be like, you know, jumping up and down like, you know, like uh, the wild man Ozzy would be. But I think Ozzy would just, you know, be on stage, just bobbing his head to you know, just bobbing his head, you know, just singing some singing some great songs like Bug at the Moon, you know. You know, singing some classics, of course, and you know, maybe some new stuff. Um, I don't know what the new new stuff on the new record, but I think that's coming out sometime next year. So probably by uh, the summer the, the well the spring or the summer of 2022, we'll get a probably the last Aussie studio record, which I'm um, um as far as I know, Zach is not on that album, but you know it's the same. It's gonna be the same, um, the same record basically. Not the same record, but you know the same people producing his record. Andy Andrew Watts and um, you know the, the other person who was doing it, who was on the record. So I don't know um, who's gonna be on the new record. Is there any like collaborations or stuff like that? But from what I heard, it's gonna be like a 1980s Blizzard of Oz like Ozzy album. So it's going back to his roots, which is awesome. Like it's like the Randy Rhodes era, Ozzy. That's mm. just imagine if Randy Rhodes was alive today on that. Album. Whoa! And the cat just fell. <laughs> Everybody's falling today. I mean, you know, Zuzu fell, but you know, Zuzu can land on his feet. But it's it's, it's you know, humans can't land on their feet unless you're Spider Man. But it is what it is. So anyway, my thoughts and condolences go out to Ozzy, of course, because you know. I'm basically his adopted son, but it is what it is. And I hope, you know, hope the surgery goes well. And we'll see him rocking those, rocking those stage in 2022. Um, no North American dates have been announced yet to re, you know, to uh, replace this year. It was supposed to be this year's uh, tour when I was supposed to go. I was thinking of going to the, the Madison Square Garden show. But since the pandemic hit, couldn't go to that. So the hope in next year, maybe next summer, um, we'll get to see Ozzy one, oh, maybe one or maybe two final times, but we'll see, um, what he, where he plays. I hope it's the, I hope he goes to the, goes to the Garden and I hope he goes to the PNC. As I would go to both those shows. Not sit front row though, because, you know, I miss, I might be Mr. VIP, but, you know, those seats for Ozzy, yeah. You got $2,000? I don't, but... As long you know, as long as I can see Ozzy, you know, for the final time, you know, before I die, before he dies, and then before I die, and before Rosa dies and everything, you know, I want to see the man. So gotta see, gotta see the man. It's like going to see Kiss for the final time. You know, I never saw Kiss, and I'll probably never see Kiss again. But the only time I see Kiss is on my TV. And that's all I gotta say about that, or or the DVDs I got. But that's it. So. So, um, all I gotta really say to Ozzy is, uh, let me just check my time. I can't check my time. What is this? 
but I gotta, I gotta um, put this up because my battery on my phone is about to die. Uh, so anyway, so um, speedy recovery to Ozzy after his surgery. Hope he comes back um, in a couple months and then gets prepared for the tour in Europe and he kicks some ass. That's that's all I that's all I ask before he you know eventually does retire. Like you know Ozzy does want, does not want to retire. I will never retire, Shannon. Yeah. As he said himself, he will not retire, and he will, you know, be doing, you know, stage shows in a wheelchair, so. I mean, he's only, like, 72, 70, gonna be 73, I think, so, you know, but that Parkinson's disease, you know, you know, you know, might, might hinder that, you know, um, uh, what's his name, um, the guitarist with Judas Priest has Parkinson's disease, and he does some shows here and there, but, but that's, you know, Glenn, Glenn Tipton of uh, Judas Priest, you know, he does shows every once in a while because he has the energy to do the show. So, well, it's great to see that, you know, Judas Priest on tour now with the 50th anniversary of Judas Priest playing a lot of their old hits. Like, I, I don't know why they played it, but Rock and Roller, I'm like, that song sucks. But it is what it is, but that's it. So, so hopefully, you know, next year, um, maybe if Judas Priest comes around, comes to town, go see Judas Priest. Um, hopefully, so, hopefully Ozzy, hopefully in this moment, um, hopefully New Year's Day, you know, um, actually Butcher Babies was supposed to be playing, um, I think on, um, Friday, I think tomorrow, actually, in New York City. Sadly, not going to that one, because the funds are low right now for Butcher Babies, so. Sorry to Carla, sorry to the, the Heidi and the band, you know. You know, if things were better, you know, I could have got the, the, the meet and greet, greet, um, I could have got the meet and greet, I could have got the tickets, and it's always the next time, you know, so hopefully, you know, you know, after you get done with this leg of the tour, if you go to Europe and then you come back, hopefully for the summer, you know, hopefully I can see you, you sexy bitches, I mean ladies, sorry, I meant, I meant ladies, you know, and um, that's it, and that's it, um, Speaking of um ladies, um we got um well not ladies but happy birthday to, to uh you know well not happy birthday but um just want to say the Liliac doing some good things Liliac Liliac the band if you just follow them on Instagram or follow them on YouTube or whatever uh they're gonna be on the Kiss cruise you know with Kiss so that's kind of cool so those those uh. Those crazy kids in Liliac, they're going to be, you know, on, on on a boat with Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley. Let's do it. I like that, but I mean, you know. So that's all I got to say about that. So, okay, with two teammates. All right, so all I got to say is, um, you know, get well, Ozzy, and hope to see you soon, my friend. You know, because we can't lose Ozzy. Not yet, anyway. You know, he's around the same age as, um, you know, when Lemmy died, so... So, you know, Lemmy died at, I think, 75, or around the 70s, so it is what it is. So, you can't lose Ozzy just yet. He's not, and he's going to live for another 15, 20 years, hopefully. We'll see what happens with that. And um, that's it. So, get well, Ozzy. Leave your thoughts and prayers and concerns and whatever you want about Ozzy Osbourne. And um, I'll keep you updated with the Ozzy news about his surgery and all that other shit. And hopefully more, more metal news coming your way in the future. And that's all I got to say about that. Got my AEW uh, Dynamite review coming up uh, probably a little bit later today. And don't forget, new season of Dark Side of the Ring tonight on Vice. So that's going to be awesome. Eight, I think it starts at 8 o'clock. So I might have, I think they have like a marathon tonight, um, right now, but I don't know. But I don't have the TV on right now, but... But yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually finally see, you know, I didn't even know I had vice on my my dish, so so I had a thankfully I found it and then I had to go back and um basically get every episode, you know, watch every episode from season one, season two, and, part, and the first part of season three. This is the second part of season three, I believe, and um I don't even know what episode is on tonight, but they will be talking about, I think, FMW, the explosion matches, and all that crazy shit from Odita! You know? 
and some other stuff that's going to be in the season. It's only a six, six season, a six episode season. So, so for the next five, after this week, after the next five weeks, you know, we get a, um, a new season of Dark Side of the Ring, and then hopefully by next year, we'll get a brand new season of Dark Side of the Ring season four. And um, all that other good stuff. But we'll probably see Conrad Thompson and the creators of the show, you know, with uh, with Confidential. So we, they'll show the video again, and they'll talk a little bit about it during the episode and all that stuff. It's some bonus stuff that we didn't see on the original episodes. So that's good stuff. So tonight, Dark Side of the Ring, and um, get ready for that. That's all I got to say um, about that. Don't forget your AEW review coming up uh, probably probably a little later today. And that's um, all I got to say about that. All right, so that's all I got to say. Get well, Ozzy. And um, got to say hello to Sharon. You know, hi, Sharon. Hi, Kelly. My, 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 my future wife, but I wish she was, but it is what it is. So hi, Kelly. Big ups to Jack. I don't even say hi to Amy Osborne. That's all I got to say about that. So all the entire Osborne clan, Peter Gilmer says, what's up? And that's all I got to say about that. So get well, Ozzy. You kick ass. And um, that's it. So thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to my channels. And follow me on social media. And hit that bell. And that's all I got to say about that. So I'm going to go grab, a, grab some late breakfast. And then I'm just going to enjoy my day. And you should too. And that's all I got to say about that. So thank you for watching. And um, as, as always, as Ozzy would say. Well, not what Ozzy would say. But anyway. Anyway, I'm Peter Gilmore signing off. Rock on and rock hard. And if you're not down with that, fuck you, man. That's all I got to say about that. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.